good morning one and all today's topic is uh, relation between shear force bending moment and rate of loading that is the intensity of loading at a section in a beam uh, for this we consider an example of simply supported beam subjected to uniformly distributed load of intensity w kilo newton per meter as shown in the figure so we consider this simply supported beam with the loading the support reactions at a and b will be w l by 2 each okay because of symmetry both are equal and equal to half of the loading w l by 2 so now consider any section at distance x consider any section at distance x from a okay so now bending moment at point c which is at a distance x from a is given as r a into x you consider this figure again r a that is w l by 2 into x minus moment due to this udl of length x that is w x into x by 2 okay yeah this is r a into x minus w x into x by 2 r a is w l by 2 okay r a is w l by 2 and Yeah, here WL by 2x minus W x square by 2. And differentiating this bending moment equation now with respect to x, you will get dm by dx is equal to WL by 2 from this. Okay, differentiating this with respect to x, you will have WL by 2 minus W x. Okay. Therefore, the shear force at C, okay, shear force at C. Now, you consider the shear force in this diagram at C, which is considering left hand side again, WL by 2, right side, left side upwards. So, the convention is left side upwards and right side downwards is positive for shear force. The convention is left up and right down or positive. So we are considering left hand side of the section. So the shear force at C is plus W L by 2 minus W X UDL. Okay. Yeah. So the shear force at C is W L by 2 minus W X. And that is represented by Q. Letter Q. So, if you observe these two equations, this and this, they both are equal here. That is WL by 2 minus WX and WL by 2 minus WX. So, what does this mean? DM by DX is equal to Q. So, it means the first derivative of bending moment at any section is equal to the shear force at that section okay so this is the relation between bending moment and shear force <coughs> okay yeah, from this you can also get this as q dx integral q dx bending moment is equal to integral q dx okay this relation and this relation both are same by integrating this we will get m equal to integral q dx okay 
so the relation between bending moment and uh, shear force is given by this expression dm by dx the first derivative of bending moment at any section is equal to shear force at that section okay now differentiating shear force equation which is given as differentiating this equation now q equal to wl by 2 minus wx is it q equal to wl by 2 minus wx so by differentiating this you will get dq by dx is equal to minus w minus w so what does this mean is the derivative of shear force the differential of shear force with respect to x gives the intensity of loading the intensity of loading okay the negative negative with the negative side okay these relationships are the basis of the rules stated in the summary okay the proofs of which are as follows let us conclude we will conclude with these relations we can conclude some points here the first point being the maximum or minimum bending moment occurs where dm by dx is zero okay mm -hmm. m being function of x it is clear that for maximum or minimum value of bending moment the condition to be satisfied is dm by dx is zero but we have the relation dm by dx is equal to x uh, shear force q okay so from these two what can you conclude for maximum or minimum bending moment at any section shear force must be zero at that section okay for maximum or minimum bending moment at any section the shear force is zero or in other words where the shear force is zero the bending moment will be either maximum or minimum at that section okay that is the conclusion we can make here with this relation okay the condition for maximum bending moment we know it is dm by dx is zero and also we know the we have the relation dm by dx is q so dm by dx zero means q is zero for maximum bending moment or minimum bending moment at any section q must be zero thus where the shear force is zero the bending moment will be either maximum or minimum okay that one conclusion second conclusion is the slope of the bending moment diagram is dm by dx that is q okay slope of the bending moment diagram is given as dm by dx isn't it m being function of x m being function of x dm by dx is the slope of the curve slope of the curve bending moment curve okay and we know that bending moment uh, derivative first derivative dm by dx is q is this clear so the slope of bending moment diagram is equal to the shear force where q is zero the slope of bending moment diagram is zero okay slope of bending moment diagram is zero and the bending moment is therefore constant slope is zero means bending moment is bending moment curve is parallel to the axis so it remains constant in that region okay also since q represents the slope of bending moment diagram slope of bending moment diagram it follows that where the shear force is positive the slope of the bending moment diagram is positive and where the shear force is negative the slope of the bending moment diagram also is negative 
okay so the slope of wedge wheel diagram is given by shear force so if uh, q is positive then the slope is positive if q is negative then the slope also is negative next conclusion is the area of shear force diagram between any two points is integral q dx the area of shear force diagram between any two points is given as integral q dx <coughs> but from the relation dm by dx is equal to q or m is equal to integral q dx the bending moment change between any two points is the area of the bend shear force diagram between these two points the bending moment change between any two points is the area of the shear force diagram between these two points from this relation we can say okay so this often provides a very quick method of obtaining bending moment diagram once the shear force diagram has been drawn okay so from the shear force diagram we can uh, get the bending moment diagram by using this relation okay next is with the chosen sign convention when the bending moment is positive the beam is sagging and when it is negative the beam is hogging thus when the curvature of the beam changes from sagging to hogging as at section x or vice versa the bending moment changes sign becomes instantaneously zero and this point is termed as the point of inflection or contraflection yeah. thus the point of contraflection occurs where the bending moment changes sign where the bending moment changes sign from one side to other side of the section x the <coughs> sign of bending moment changes that means it is changing from sagging to hogging so at the section x we will have the point of contraflection the bending moment zero so these are the relation there is the relation first between shear force bending moment and rate of loading dm by dx is equal to q and dq by dx is equal to minus w okay it is clear so these are the relations between the bending moment shear force and shear force and rate of loading shear force and rate of loading so in other words d square m by dx square is equal to w yeah. from this relation q is dm by dx so second derivative of bending moment is equal to the rate of loading okay second derivative of bending moment is equal to rate of loading so these are the relations worth noting okay shear force bending moment diagrams for an applied couple or moment applied couple or moment so we have seen some examples on uh, loads acting point load udl varying loads etc okay but when a couple or a moment is applied just like this when a moment is applied at some point how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams for this okay or when a couple is applied couple means two equal and opposite forces separated by small distance separated by small distance d understand 
so they produce <coughs> moment equal to fd force multiplied by distance between the forces magnitude of force multiplied by the distance between the forces that is fd is the couple couple means nothing but a moment okay so let us see now shear force and bending moment diagrams for an applied couple or moment okay so there are two ways in which the couple or moment can be applied okay couple or moment can be applied in two ways and now one with two horizontal loads as in this case the couple can be applied one way by using two equal and opposite forces horizontal forces separated by small distance as shown here or same vertical loads okay so the method of solution is different for each when horizontal loads are applied and vertical loads are applied okay if the couple is applied through horizontal load or vertical loads the method of solution will be different okay first we will consider the case of horizontal loads couple or moment applied with uh, horizontal loads okay consider the beam ab shown in figure to which a moment fd is applied by means of two horizontal loads at c separated by distance d distance d actually not a okay the point c is at a distance f uh, c a from end a the point c is at a distance of a from end a and b from end b so how to draw the bending moment diagram so actually the supports in this case can be taken as one support hinge one support roller like this you can take okay because here due to this applied loads the end b will be lifted up because of this uh, clockwise moment because of this clockwise moment produced by the horizontal forces uh, f okay due to the couple fd the end b will be lifted up so it will be held down by the hinge it means the reaction at b will be downwards and the reaction at a will be upwards reaction at a will be upwards and reaction at b will be downwards so that va and vb produce balancing moment okay balancing moment to keep the beam in equilibrium but when va and vb are also parallel opposite in direction separated by a distance l span of the beam so they produce a balancing couple okay which is equal to va into l va into l so here if you consider the moments about b to find the reactions consider the moments about n b so you will have r a into l is equal to f d r a into l is equal to f d okay r a and this is b r b and we have a couple here fd direction is anti clockwise no, sorry clockwise couple is clockwise so by taking moments about b you have 
R A into and R A we are taking upwards actually. If you take it upward, R A into L, this is also clockwise only, plus F D is equal to zero. So you will get R A is equal to minus F D by L. So negative sign here indicates that the direction of R A is incorrect. Okay. If you are getting negative sign, it indicates that the direction of R A is incorrect. So it will be acting downwards. And it is equal to F D by L. So for vertical equilibrium, R A must be equal to R B. R A is downwards and R B is upwards. So for vertical equilibrium, these two must be equal. So that is equal to F D by L. R B also equal to F D by L. It is clear. So once you find the reactions, let us see how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams for this. So considering section between A C between A and C, we have R A downwards, R B upwards. And moment of uh, F D applied at C. So we have <coughs> section X. <coughs> consider section X at distance X from A. So bending moment uh, at this section, bending moment at this section is minus R A into X because it is hogging in nature. The beam bends like this. So, the bending moment will be negative as per our convention. So, hogging is negative and sagging is positive. Okay. So, minus R A into X that is F D by L into X. So, here X varies from 0 to A. Between A and C, we are considering this sector. So, the limits for X are from 0 to <coughs> A. 0 to so when at zero, at x zero, bending moment is zero. At x equal to a, bending moment is minus f d a f d by l into a minus f d by l into. The values of bending moment increase linearly from zero at a. To F D by L into A at C. Okay. F D by A F D by L into A at C. Okay. Similarly, <coughs> considering section between B and D, B and C, sorry. Considering section between B and C at a distance x from b. So as we are considering this section between b and c, the limits are from 0 to b. 0 to b. So this is clear. So what is the bending moment uh, at this section? So either you can consider the origin at a or you can consider the origin at B. Anything is okay. If you consider origin at A, then the bending moment is given by this expression. Or when you consider the origin at B, <coughs> you will have bending moment as RB into X. That is, it is sagging moment because reaction RB is upwards. So, the bending moment due to RB will be sagging, that is positive, FD by L into X or X dash. <coughs> Let this be X dash. The limits for X dash are from 0 to B. 
So at x equal to 0, bending moment is 0. Bending moment at x is this one. Bending moment will be 0. And at x equal to b, <coughs> bending moment is fd by l into b. This is positive. Sagging bending moment. Okay. Is this clear? So, here also the bending moment increases linearly from 0 at B to plus FD by L into B at C. Okay. So, the net bending moment diagram, if you draw, it will be something like this. From A to C, it varies linearly from 0 at A to minus FD by L into A. This is negative. And from B to C, it varies as Fd by L into B. 0 at B to Fd by L at C plus Fd by L into B. Okay. So, the bending one diagram due to couple will be something like this. Okay. So this clear. So, it varies linearly, okay. So, the bending moment diagrams, let us see. Okay. Bending moment diagram is this. And shear force diagram, considering section here, left side upwards is positive, left side downwards is negative. Left side downwards we have, so, minus Fd by L, minus Ra, this is Ra. minus R A because shear force at A is minus R A that is minus F D by L minus F D by L and R B is upwards so right side upwards is also negative Okay, is this clear? So the shear force diagram remains constant from A to B and its value being Fd by L with the negative side. Okay, so negative shear force from A to B and shear force is constant here. Shear force is constant. So, this is uh, when the couple is applied uh, by horizontal loads with the horizontal loads. When the couple is applied with the help of vertical loads. When the couple is applied with the help of up vertical loads, so, okay, moment applied with the help of vertical loads. So, consider the beam again, where the moment is applied with the help of uh, vertical loads. Okay, <coughs> so this is applied by means of this arrangement here. You can observe this. Okay. Based on the moment, the lever or the magnitude has to change. This lever arm B and F magnitude. So the moment due to this force, vertical force F at C is moment at C is F D. The point C is situated at a distance of A from A and B from end B. Okay. And the couple acting at C now is equal to the force F multiplied by the distance D, FD. Okay. And in this case, we have force F also acting at C. Okay. 
So we are replacing this arrangement by a force F and a couple F D. <coughs> it is clear. But uh, see, couple means as you know two equal and opposite forces. If you consider point C here and force F acting at a distance D without affecting you can apply two equal and opposite loads F at C. Okay. Because of this two equal and opposite loads there will be no effect on the B. Understand? Now this force and this force being equal and opposite separated by distance D they constitute a couple. What does this mean is we can replace these two forces by a couple. What is the magnitude of couple? Fd. Understand? So now we replace these two. We remove these two and replace it by Fd. That's what we have done here. And here the force F will be there acting at C. Is this clear? Initially we are applying equal and opposite forces at C. This downward force remains as it is and the upward force at C and this is at D and quote. For example, this F and this F being equal and opposite, they produce a couple. They can be replaced by now a couple FD. It is clear. So these two beams are equivalent. Okay. So yeah, this can be replaced by this one force F acting at C and a couple FD again acting at C. Is this clear? Now for this beam, we apply, uh, we draw the shear force at bending moment angles. What are the reactions now? At B and uh, A and B. Uh, for this, we apply the condition, equilibrium condition, sigma MB equal to 0, sigma MB equal to 0, which gives RA into L, which is an, uh, clockwise, okay, and a couple is anti clockwise. Moment due to this force is also anti clockwise. That is equal to FD plus F into B. These are the shear force and bending moment diagrams. So, you will see how to draw them. First, we will find out the shear force and bending moment reactions. First, we will find out. Okay. So, by applying the condition sigma MB equal to 0, you will get RA into L is equal to f into d plus uh, f d plus f b or f into d plus b, isn't it? Uh, this is the beam. Yeah, f acting at distance d and a couple f d acting at c. So, r a into l is equal to f d couple plus moment due to this force F into B, both are anti-clockwise. So what is RA? F into D plus B by L. F into D plus B by L. This is RA. Okay. And RB also can be calculated. How will you get RB? R B for that uh, we consider vertical equilibrium. Okay, vertical equilibrium for vertical equilibrium R A plus R B is equal to F. Yeah. Okay, so RB is equal to F minus RA, F minus RA. What is RA? F into D plus B 
by L. So now we will get F into L minus D minus B by L. Okay. So here L minus B is nothing but A. L minus B is nothing but A. So F into A minus D by L. F into A minus D by L. That is R B. Okay. By considering vertical equilibrium, we will obtain the value of uh, reaction at B. Okay. So reaction at B is F into A minus D by L. Once you know the reactions, the shear force and the individual diagrams can be drawn by finding out the equations for shear force and bending wall diagrams. Okay. Consider <coughs> section between A and C. Okay, section between A and C. What a distance x? This is R A and R B. So, what is the bending moment at x? R A into x. This is sagging positive. Okay. And R A value is F into D plus B by L that we have just now calculated into x. Okay. So, this value from this equation at x0, the bending moment is 0. And at x equal to a, bending moment is at x equal to a, at x equal to a, <coughs> bending moment is, what is the bending moment value? F into D plus B by L into A. F into D plus B by L into A. Is this clear? So, uh, it means uh, the bending moment varies linearly, increases linearly from 0 at A to F into D plus B by L into A at C. Okay? Yeah. Increasing linearly from 0 to F into D plus B by L into A at C. Similarly, bending moment equation between B and C is RB into X dash. Rb is F into A minus D by L into X dash. X dash limits are from 0 to B. F dash, X dash limits are from 0 to B. Okay. So, here also it varies linearly, increases linearly from 0 at B to F into A minus D by L into B at C. Okay, it is clear by plotting these values 0 at A to 0 at A to F into B plus D by L into A and 0 here to F into A minus D by L into B. Okay. And this vertical difference between these two is equal to the couple F D. Okay. The difference between these two values, we can observe this. F into B plus D by L into A minus F into A minus D 
by L into B. The difference, uh, if you work out, it comes out to be F D actually. Yeah, it is A B plus A D minus of A B uh, plus B D actually plus B D. Okay, so A B cancel out me. Taking D common here, we will have F by L D into A plus B. So A plus B is nothing but L, isn't it? So L L cancels. The difference between these two values is nothing but F D. Okay. So what you can conclude is where there is a couple acting, there will be a drop of uh, drop in the bending moment diagram by a value equal to couple there will be a drop in the value of bending moment equal to the couple drop or rise we can say okay when you move in this direction it will be a rise when you move in this direction this will be a drop isn't it so there will be a sudden change in the value of bending moment diagram where there is a couple acting it is clear yeah. So that's all for today's class, today's session. We'll uh, meet in the next class, next session. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.